I crashed this thing. You're going to come towards really? me, you said? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we have the ex the experiment the project whatever you want to call it we have the typhoon uh, drones with access points and stations and we're gonna send it up as soon as he gives us the uh, the phone call controller we're gonna cut into the drone footage here in a little bit I'm gonna send up an air 3 try to get some um, Cinematic footage of the drone flying. Send it. I'm not gonna go any further with this one unless you yeah. want to try it. I don't want to be the reason why you why you're drilling yeah, down. Yeah, he's at. Uh, call me back whenever you uh, whenever you're ready. Okay, I got it up to my ear. You have to hang up. Okay, bye. Very windy. We're up at 200 feet. All right, we still got him. All right, so here we go. We're back out here. Last time we did this Dragon Bridge test, we had some issues, connectivity issues, but I think we have it worked out now. So the goal would be laptop here at this end is going to run um, some NetPerf and some other tools to test the connection. But this laptop is connected to the first T-Halo, which is paired to another, another one over here. So basically they're they're in AP and client mode with the one at the laptop paired with the second one on the first drone ethernet uh, bridging it over to the third T Halo which is paired to another one on this drone uh, number four we can see some of these newer T Halos have uh, RISI value um, connection indicators on here but paired with there with that one ethernet over to the fifth one and then the fifth one is paired to the sixth one in here which uh, really is just getting us uh, to the raspberry pi 5 that's inside this box here run a net perf server so hopefully that makes sense the goal would be uh, just a big transparent bridge across both drones in the air uh, in order to get us to this uh, raspberry pi here all right, so end result is uh, we've, we've got a ping right now, but that is the with both drones sitting on the ground, the whole chain uh, going the whole way through. However, putting it in the air, not really exactly sure what's going on. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to try and change channels on each pair. Maybe, maybe it's kind of stepping on one another, but I would lose ping and I really couldn't complete the test, but uh, and we're, I'm pretty sure there's nothing on the drone that's uh, transmitting uh, in that frequency range uh, itself. But anyways, there's a, this effluent test running uh, right now just to, I guess, do some further analysis on the network speed and, and um, connection across the, the links. And uh, we'll just see what the results of that is, uh, you know, are and share those and try again a future test. All right, here we are again. Yeah, the only thing is I found a bug where sometimes the ping will stop. Um, and I'll show you how to get around it. Like, we'll just test it real quick. Okay. And really, it just, it kind of ends up coming down to where I just shut 
one of them off and then back on and then one pinks ones. yeah or just whatever just one random one and it'll come back on but um Liligo says on the new stuff that shouldn't happen so i don't know if it's just because we have new mixed with old or or what but all right so right right now we're like 1.6 kilometer away from the other drone it's on the ground uh, of course on both ends i don't think that there's probably a link yet between the two because there's really not line of sight right now, but I guess we'll get it up in the air real quick and see if we can get that ping going across. Like a one bar connection from the ground to the drone. I didn't like tilt those antennas or anything. So I don't know, I guess I'm gonna try and turn off my ground one and back on? Sure. I'll do the same. I got a three bar connection from the ground to the drum. Okay. All right, I'm back on. I have a two bar connection. Yeah, I still got no. Oh, we got a ping. Okay. So, we, so we're pinging um, from the, let me think. So from the ground up to the air across 1.6 kilometers to your drone. Uh, back down to the Raspberry Pi on the ground. Okay, finally. All right, and now I'm going to try and uh, I'll try an SSH in. Okay. Is this is the thing strong enough for like the connection is strong enough? I'll find out. Ten dot zero dot zero dot one hundred. Oh, uh, one second, because I had SSH'd. Uh, it's probably a little bit slow, could probably be optimized. I've only got barely a, let me see here. Uh, okay, there we go. Oh, let's see. Uh, I lost the, uh, I lost the ping when I dropped from one bar to two. I'm going to try and turn it off real quick. Yeah. Oh, I got the I got the ping back. And Dragon I'm SSH'd in across the uh the link 1.6 kilometers across 6T Halo units here. Um uh, now unfortunately I probably didn't put iperf on there. Uh, but let's see, SDR plus plus tech tech server. This might be a little crazy, but uh, let's see, SDR plus plus timeout. Now, I, I don't know. I oh, I'm connected. I, I'm trying to think. Unfortunately, unless you reach into that box and trace the power line from the Kraken and, and, and plug that in, it might be enough power to bring that online. Okay, Where am I at on power yeah, here? Plug it in. It's got what, one of the, yeah. You see like where one of the uh, extenders is free. All right, come on, let's see, connect. Hey, can you take the, uh, well, let me see. What's a radio station, 95 something maybe? Uh, now we've got, yeah, there's some signal there. Yeah, so it must be on the right one. So probably, you know, not enough to...
Yeah, so, uh, okay. Anyways, I think we proved the point here. We're looking at the spectrum. We can, you know, continue to refine this. The new, the new versions all across the board will uh, be coming and then we can do this again. But so, oh, you got another drone up too? It's mine. Okay, so where we're at now is this is, and this is probably not like the most ideal way to stream the IQ back. This is SDR++ server running on the Pi. Okay. The RTL SDR off the Kraken is streaming the you know IQ back, and then I'm viewing it here on this end over the T-Halo link at 1.6 kilometers away, plus whatever distance from us to the air, and then from that end to the ground. So, oh yeah, that's perfect. Dude, this is, so, so the goal here would be take, take this and then him on that end, he would, he would go out a distance from the drone and I would go out a distance from the drone. So now between me and the drone, there's a good bit of distance. And from him to the drone, there's a good bit of distance. And so then maybe we could push it out to like three kilometers or four kilometers or something like that. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna bring it down and I think we're good. This is awesome. All right, thanks. Thank you.